there are some classic dishes that just make it, that just take us back in time. For the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, one of those is stuffed cabbage. So they're sharing a new version today that has all the taste without all the work. All we do is make some meatballs with the basics. Ground beef, breadcrumbs, an egg, salt and pepper, and a little water. We'll set those aside for a moment while we mix together some crushed tomatoes, brown sugar, a bit of Worcestershire sauce, and a touch of lemon. Now, instead of steaming, pulling apart, and stuffing the cabbage like normal, we simply layer shredded cabbage on the bottom of a soup pot. This pot was actually my grandmother's. On top of that goes our meatballs, half of our sauce, then more cabbage, and the rest of the sauce. Then just let it simmer until the cabbage is tender. What you get is all the flavors of classic stuffed cabbage with only half the work. It's the perfect way to welcome someone home on a chilly day. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where every day we're looking for an easier way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. There's a link to today's recipe on our website, valleynewslive.com. Just click on the Mr. Food button, or you can write us at the station. That's 1350 21st Avenue, South Fargo, North Dakota, 58103. Consumer Reports tests of turkey, chicken, shrimp, and beef have found some worrisome contamination with antibiotic res resistant bacteria. Tonight on, tonight on Valley News Live, we will have advice for you to help as you shop for meat, poultry, and seafood. But next year at noon, a last look at your forecast.